Brown sugar powder buns or powder buns are a spin on original Belizean powder buns. Except for the fact that I use brown sugar instead of white sugar, I add eggs to the mix and I trade out the evaporated milk for lactose-free milk. Now because of all these changes, these buns are not crunchy, they're rather soft, so I would say they're more cake-like than cookie-like. Now let's see how they're done. You're gonna see me do this quite often where I'll come back to an original recipe and start making changes to it to make it more unique. So for brown sugar powder buns, we're gonna replace white sugar with light brown sugar. That's why it's called brown sugar pot of buns. We're gonna add two eggs because the eggs are gonna make them even lighter. Of course, you see I'm down to nothing from my cinnamon. We're gonna put some cinnamon. So I have, oh, my bad. I'm also replacing the milk, the um, original evaporated milk with lactose free milk, all right? So four cups of all-purpose flour to the mix, four tablespoons of baking powder. It's a lot of baking powder, guys half a cup of butter and my advice to you if you don't like baking is get little things little spatulas like this little containers this is actually a measuring cup you know it's a one cup measuring cup I don't know where it's written I saw it somewhere anyway it's a one cup measuring cup so get little things like that that will excite you add the cinnamon some people will also put nutmeg I don't put nutmeg because I'm allergic one teaspoon of vanilla and oh let me let me measure the sugar for I forget this you don't want to measure your brown sugar too early because it'll get hard on you sitting on the countertop all right so packed packed brown sugar put that in there oh look at that thing it's it's doing that the um extract is doing that I think it hits some baking powder and then let's crack the eggs Beat them. We really and truly want to put everything in before we start adding milk because we're going to use less milk, I believe. So let me measure some milk here. Uh, that's about six ounces thereabouts. Let me go to about eight ounces. Okay, we're at eight, so we'll see how much we use, all right? So let's get this worked in. Break up the sugar. Ooh, raisins. Wait, y'all. Let me get some raisins. I almost forgot these. I'm so glad you guys reminded me. <laughs> you know you guys are here with me, right? I don't just look up and see a camera lens. I look up and I see you. Get that worked in really well my oven is preheated to 350 Three, that's 350 degrees Fahrenheit all right I think that's like 180 for Celsius let's pour in the lactose free milk work it in slowly We're just trying to get this wet. So I told you to add the wet slowly because the egg is already wet. put a little bit more so I would say about six to seven ounces of the lactose free milk and we have our powder buns right here so let me go ahead and get my hands cleaned up for my hand and then when I come back we're going to be rolling these off I do realize that not everyone is familiar with kneading or dealing with dough or even rolling off these type of buns or cookies so let me show you how this is done Right now I'm making a dome on the top and then I pinch the bottom shut and then I just roll it like a ball in my hand 
set it and then squish it let me go a little bit more slowly for you guys all right pick up some any size piece you can pick up depending on the size bun that you want i'm making a dome on the top right there so it's smooth and then i just kind of pinch the bottom shut and then i roll it in my hands if i need more flour i get more flour you don't want it to be too sticky because these are not cookies all right if you just drop them they will come out hard like cookies so let me get another piece to show you guys some more so i'm putting them on a greased baking sheet of course get some flour make the dome on the top and then pinch it all around so we could close the bottom and this is when we just roll it in our hands and set it on the tray not too hard at all right you will get this in no time at all you know practice makes perfect practice to be perfect you will get this in no time at all all right squish it you don't want to leave it you know big like a ball because then it's going to grow tall and not spread wide on the tray all right so just work it through you're going to get like 14 to 16 depending on the sizes that you do let me grab some more pretty simple right you guys are getting it you guys see how simple it is to roll it off right pick up some if it's too sticky get some flour in your hand make that smooth top close up the bottom roll it and then set it on the tray i would say it takes me about five to eight minutes to roll off all these powder buns and set them on the tray so now i have the oven preheated to 350 degrees fahrenheit and we're going to stick these in here for about they go anywhere from about 40 to 45 minutes depending on your oven but i always set the timer for closer to 35 minutes because i want to come back and check on them to make sure that they're not overdone 40 minutes later and they're ready let me go ahead and remove them from the baking sheet and allow them to cool on the wire cooling rack now these buns are super soft because we put the eggs in them i think the brown sugar also plays a role in making them softer and of course i can eat these even though i have issues with milk i can eat these because i put in the lactose free milk now if you want to crunch your bun check out my video that's called original Belize and powder buns look at them guys these are so soft they're not like the potter buns that we made in the last video the original belize and potter buns these are brown sugar potter buns and they're different all right even though they're slightly cracked they're not well i have some that are more cracked than not right it's cracked on the top cracked there they're fatter i mean they're uh, taller that way and they're super soft let me show you the other one this is the original the one that doesn't have the eggs in it and has white sugar and um yeah it's cracked and beautiful and it's crunchy more towards uh like a cookie this one is more like a cake let me tell you both of them are delicious and i will make both of them interchangeably and send them to people all right so this is something that we like to make often we take these on road trips we take these as gifts to people when we go visit and i promise if you start making these you're not going to turn back all right you don't have to make cookies you don't have to make cake you can make these powder buns all right so let me open this one so y'all can see mm -mm -mm. and just like that it broke you guys see this i have no one to run camera for me right now so there we go yes yes so let me taste mm, mm, mm. just sweet enough that you don't feel like you're cheating on your diet but you are okay <laughs> one of these I think pretty close to 280 calories but you know what do it just now and again all right I love both versions I love this brown sugar version where's the other one and I love this original version I love them both all right so I could just make whichever one I wanted to make and I could just sit down and enjoy so I hope you guys like this go ahead and share the video if you like it hit that like thing if you like it and of course don't forget to follow the page I'll see you guys again next video. Bye.